Yeehaw! Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. Hope you guys are well. So, yes, thank you so much for all of your comments and, like, tips and suggestions on, like, who to see and where to go. There's been loads. So, I really do appreciate it, guys. Um, so, a lot of you have said about going to the Rhodes General Store for whatever reason. So, we should basically go there on this episode um i'd rather do it with you guys rather than me do it off camera then you get to see i suppose my <laughs> reactions like ah! um and you've also said about going to saint denis um the tailor there um for whatever reason so again you haven't dived you've been guys have been brilliant you have given no spoilers uh so again i massively appreciate that um so you've basically said go to go to the saint denis tailors um and i've had other suggestions as well which i'll go through the comments and uh, have a look and we'll, we'll do that again uh, you guys have said about going to see um hamish now so there's you know there's no reason why we shouldn't go see hamish you said so go and see him so we'll do that on this episode in fact we'll do that in a minute and, um also what have i done i've done stuff off camera so i was looking for the uh, the ranger of the legendary fish um, in that sort of lower area where Blackwater was, and I could not believe how big the map was. It just kept going on and on and on. So I caught the three fish, and I thought I'd have a little explore. And I was like, oh my god, where is the edge of the map? And it just kept going on. And we went to a place called um, Armadillo, but we didn't go in because there was some shooting going on. So I thought I didn't want to go in there, really. Um, maybe I'll do it with you guys. Um, but then I got a comment saying I can go to Armadillo off camera because the, the story doesn't kind of put you there which i thought was a bit odd and i kept going around to see what there's still loads to, to explore and this place around here oh my god it was up here there's somewhere it was so beautiful might be here there was like a there was like a waterfall along here as well and you got oh my god it i was blown i was just mind blown and you got all the cacti down here and all the all like the, it's very arid and dry and, and there was like a dust storm i had and i was like oh my god even the weather is different down here um, this game even now 40 odd episodes it's just completely blown me away guys um i went as far as here and i saw some um oh, what they called they're, they're like a gang down here and i forgot what they called now um i forgot <laughs> uh, something De del oh i don't know i'm not even me even guessing um so yes so i've got the three legendary fish i've already posted them i've i've been a bit busy with this as well so duchesses and other animals i got them all i've got all the bad boys so we will see hamish and then we'll go and pop and see um Al Algin and Wasp and give, give him them. Um, I don't know if it's going to be the last quest or he's going to give us another one, but I have been, you know, I did say the other couple of episodes ago, I have been looking at guides because this would be, I don't know, I don't know how you would find it otherwise. Uh, whoever did this, whoever found this first time, the first person to do it, hats off to him. Uh, so we will go and see him as well. So for now, let's go and see Hamish. Let's plot a course. Um, I'm in Valentine at the moment. Um, I don't know why, but I think I was doing some off camera. But anyway, we'll go and see. Um, we're going to see. We're going, well, we'll, we'll, we'll just run there, I guess, just in case we bump into a stranger. See you guys there. I've also, as well, been uh, again reading all the comments, guys. Again, like I said, I, I massively appreciate all your comments and suggestions and stuff about who to see, where to go. Um, but it's been advised that I try to kind of see everyone that I have seen with Arthur. So I need to get my memory going again and, and so I can remember where I've been to. So, yes. So again, I will probably try to do that on camera, possibly, because just in case you guys haven't seen them. Um, I expect you guys have, though. But um, just in case you haven't, um, let's do it together, shall we? And yeah, so um, I might do like a bit of a, not a montage, but, you know, we'll just be seeing all the different guys, characters, what not, you know, whatever. So. Hey there. I don't take usually kindly to company, but you can stay. Oh, thanks. Okay. Been doing some hunting, I see. Rare game's more my thing these days. Any fool can take down a deer or a rabbit, even a bear. I once killed 30 bears in one year. And buffalo? <laughs> I can't even count that high. Uh-huh. Yep, God's honest truth. Folk near San Denis tell stories. 
of a panther that roams the swamps out there. Fast, ferocious, real elusive. Bit of a legend in those parts. Yep. Never been caught. And I figure, if anyone's gonna do it, it's gonna be me. And a pelt like that whoo, could keep a feller warm in whiskey for months. But that's a story for another day. Can't wait. Can't wait. Um. Hold on now. I, I swear I seen your face before. A lot of people say that to me. Go darn it, no. Can't get through nothing without some damn ruckus. What? Bye now. Yeah, bye. Okay. And he's riding without a saddle as well. So yeah, he left himself, didn't he, a bit? <laughs> so let's rob him and uh, be on our way. Okay, finally, finally we are get to go and see Hamish again. But this time it's John. Not Arthur. Yeah, let's do this. I wonder if he's going to um, mention... Well, he's got to, isn't he? Huh? Hello, sir. And who might you be? A caller. John Marston. Uh, years ago, a friend of mine helped you retrieve your horse. You became friends? Oh, yeah. Arthur. Yeah. How is he? Sorry to say, he passed soon after that. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Yeah. I read about you in his journal. Been calling in on folks. Well, I'm grateful I'm one of them. Uh, how you keeping out here? Ah, keeping fine, thank you. It's all right then, is it? Living out here, away from civilization? <laughs> civilization? Yeah, I saw what civilization and industrial advancement will get you in the war. Progress, well, it ain't always progress. Besides, I ain't lonely up here. I got company. Yeah, I guess. Come look at these. Arthur caught that. Huh, did he? And he killed that with his hands. That's quite something. Yeah, I got the whole of nature up here. And I'm gonna make the most of it, as long as there still is some. Whoa. They weren't lying. What's this? Right there by the outhouse. Look at the size of that boar. Holy hell. I saw some cattle gourd the other day, but I didn't think it was possible. Let's go take care of it. Okay. I thought I got him. Pursue. I'll grab the mounts. Okay, I don't think I've got a decent gun now. Um, kill the boar. Oh, Christ. Can we, can we just, can I just can't whistle for the horse right now? Okay, I haven't got a decent weapon on me. <laughs> oh, God. This might not go down very well. Kill the boar. Oh, God's sake. It's quite a hard oh, one. Shit. Search the area for some of the board. No, I just, I just, I don't know. I need my decent weapon. I haven't got it on me. So let's do a bit of tracking then. Oh, Hamish. Oh, wait, oh, my horse is coming now. Right, so focus on the track of the giant boar. A bit worried. <laughs> a little bit worried. Come on, where are you? Follow the board tracks. Come on, I just want my horse to come here. Yeah, we know. It's in this now. Come on. Right, okay, it's this way. Right, okay, let's go and get our we decent weapon out of our uh, out of our jobby first of all. Um I think we got the Lichfield. I lost sight of him. Don't worry. Tracks go this way. Come on. You see so that Hamish thing? Knows. It's as big as a buffalo. And fast, too. Yeah, but we'll get him. He came through here, all right. Okay, how can you tell that? 
All right there. Big Press shit. your horse quick. He's been across here twice. What do we do? Well, he's been up this hill to the right and down this one in front of us. But I can't tell which tracks is fresher. Let's split up. You go up and I'll go onwards. Okay. Good luck to you, sir. Yeah. Come on, view. Okay, so search areas for signs of the boar. So let's get our guns out again, make sure. And um, let's do a bit of hunting. Hunting a boar. With me and Hamish. Okay. Mm -hmm. You'll follow him up here. Oh, there's something over there. It's probably some um, boar, boar poo. Oh no, it's a dead fox or a wolf. You reckon then, John? Gold. Gorn wolves, too. Oh, hello. Best get the gun shots. Bet Hamish has found him. Hamish! Shit. He's after him. Oh, Christ. Let's get the... Come on, horse. I should have gone with my horse. Oh, it's only here. It doesn't, we don't need the horse. Uh, it's gone this way. Focus on the tracks. Right, where's Hamish? Hamish, have you run off? Oh, he's gone down here. Okay. Hamish. Oh, Hamish has been. Oh. God. Oh. Yeah, Hamish. How bad is it? I got thrown, and a bastard hog got me. It's his bad leg, there, which is. Take a bill for me, would you? He's a good horse. Oh, he's dying. He's stubborn. <laughs> but he's strong. <laughs> Who's dead? Hamish? Take fuel. Good pig. Oh, God, that was lucky, wasn't it? <sighs> Take fuel. Uh, mission complete the veteran. Oh god, Hamish is dead. A huge wild boar is sighted near Hamish's cabin and a hunt begins. So... So is this this horse here? Can we have his horse? Boom. Let's have a... Dutch warm blood. Should we take it? Sorry, Rachel. <laughs> You're dumped, I'm afraid. Don't know, this one here is a real good horse. I, I quite like this one here. This is here is a thoroughbred. Um, and uh, it's handed as a racehorse. But we could always sell it. So take the trophy. Okay. Right, okay, guys. I think I'm going to... Take this horse, then. Um, let's search the saddlebags. Oh, Leddy, how? All right, here we go. Come on, Buell. Oh, we got um, go. honor for that as well. Okay, well, we got two horses now. We got Buell, um, which I like. We haven't had a, well, we have had a white horse, but we haven't had this Dutch horse before. So, um, um. See you, later, see you later, Rachel. I'm going to have to get bonded now with this horse. <laughs> so I think I was like maximum bond with that. So we may as well go to Saint-Denis and speak to Algernon Wasp. But whilst we are there, let's go to the tailors first. And um, comment was go to the tailors or Saint-Denis Park. Um, the person there or whatever we're looking for is either in one of those two spots. So 
Oh, it's exciting stuff. I'll see you hopefully there, guys. I'm going to ride down, as per usual. Maybe. Also, another thing as well. Um, two comments regarding the same thing. Somewhere in Saint-Denis, I have, I, have, I have tried looking. Somewhere in Saint-Denis, there is, like, some writings. Or graffiti. Um, I have a look around. I can't find it. Um, I think we should do that as well on camera. Um, again, I'm going to have to go with a guide because I have actually looked everywhere, or mostly everywhere, and I couldn't see it. <laughs> so well, I think we'll have a look at this right and see what it is. Again, if you haven't seen it, then it'd be quite good, wouldn't it? If we both do it together. So, is somebody here? By the tailor. All right, so if it's not the tailor's... We'll have a look around here for a start. Oh, the park. Is this the park? We'll have a look around the park. So let's have a look around and uh, if, if I see whoever I'm supposed to be finding, then I'll let you know. Mrs. Wicklow. Oh, hang on. You know, it's terribly important. What is? What is? Voting? Yes, terribly. Once women get the vote, the whole country will stop making such a pig's ear of everything. There'll be no more wars, no hunger, no stupidity. We'll elect a woman president within the first 10 years, of course. You see, men are such judgmental prigs. You need us women to help straighten you out. Hi. Okay? With us helping. I'm not saying there won't be trouble. I just think we'll do a better job of things. I hope you're right. Good luck. Good luck. Hello, All right, let's um I don't know I don't know there's no one here. <laughs> so I'm going to keep looking. Okay, I've just got a message here saying that I have unopened mail or parcels. Um, it's to do with the legendary fish. I still haven't found whoever I'm supposed to be looking for. It's night time now, so let's go to the post office and I'll come back and have another little look. Okay, receive mail. Invitation from Jeremy Gill. Um, okay, log updated. Okay, let's inspect the document then. What does it say? Invitation? Okay, oh, it's a big, big read. It's a big read. Hello, chum. You've bitten the worm, haven't you? What a glorious feeling it must be coursing through your veins after having battled these beasts. And just think, right now you're no doubt re radiating, but consider that what you feel is only one tenth percent of self actualization and enlightenment I've achieved through a lifetime of angling. You've sent some I'm fine here. specimens for sure? Help. You must come see me. I have fantastic tales of my time in Italy, which I didn't include in my book. I'll be at my fishing cabin on the shore between Flatneck Station and Clemens Point. Call by soon. I'll also grab below. This letter will surely be worth a sum someday. Your friend in fish, Jeremy Gill. All right. So we got to get to see him. Okay. Um, we can do that. Hopefully this episode as well. So for see now, let's go back to the tailors. And have a look to see who we should be looking for. I'm guessing it's um, from our gang. Um, but hopefully we'll see um, see them. I am. Right, unfortunately I've been around this park and the tailors and for ages. And I, I cannot see anyone here that I recognise. So, um... I'm going to do something else and come back, I think. So we might as well carry on going to Algernon Wasp. Um, and also, I've, I've remembered in here there was um, a bounty, so we could do that as well. Um, I just want to do all the little... I just want to almost finish like all the little things, like all the side bits, and and um, before we carry on. Not that it matters, but... Uh, let's go see Algernon Wasp anyway, and we'll come back. And and uh, I want to go to Rhodes as well at some point as well. Right, here we go then. Here we go. I'm an old friend of uh, Tacitus Kilgore. You used to pay him to go find some items for you. He's moved on now, I'm afraid. Tacitus, how can I forget? Well, better seven years late than never, I suppose. Jim Milton. Charmed. Well, 
I got the things for the girl in New York. That strumpet, I don't care about her. She's trade, she's common. Her father lends money, it's so vulgar. Oh, damn her. It's the aristocracy. It's the old families. It's the last of the old guard. It's the Contessa James. I love her. Well, love or not, you owe me for these. Oh, money, dear boy, I don't give a fig for money. Here, here, take this money. Money is beneath me. This is quite a lot. Enjoy it. Uh, spend it on love, on beauty, on amore. Sure. Now, James, I need more orchids. Here, here's the list. These are very rare. I oh, plan to declare no. my love like a god. In flowers, in beauty. Oh. All my life, the times we shall spend by the lake in Lombardy. Oh, James. It sounds... Divine. It sounds divine. Right, um, we got 175 there. Okay, let's have a look. Oh boy, what do we have to get next? Having fallen for the Contessa, Algernon needs more orchids to woo her. Okay. Clamshell orchids, Dragon's Mate orchids, Queen's orchids, 10 of 10 sparrow egg. Oh my goodness me. I'll tell you what, I'm going to do it quickly now. I'll be back in a jiffy, guys. Okay, a second later for you, about two hours later for me. Um, I got all of them. I got them. So let's go and see Algernon Wasp, hopefully for the last time. Hopefully. I thought oh. he was near then. There you are. I got you those orchids. I don't need them anymore. Really? Why? <laughs> what happened? It's the Contessa. She's, uh... She's married another. I'm, s I'm so sad. I'm sorry. She left me for a postman. <laughs> she married a, a postman. <laughs> I mean, it's, she's she's a countess and a postman. I mean, the shame of it. I, I mean, if it was a prince, I could have coped with it. But a a postman. Life is extremely challenging at times. James, I want you to kill me. What? I, I have a gun. That's quite a weapon. <laughs> These are Tahitian pearls. Tahiti? Have you been? Nearly, but I guess we never made it. It's not for people like us, James. Please, just kill me. No. Then give me the gun! Calm down! I think it's best for both of us if I hold on to the gun. So ashamed, Jay. Don't worry about it. Now I have to go to Baltimore to see my awful sister. Not to lay God. To smell the gardenias. Huh. I'm not sure what to say. Here's your payment for the orchids. Thank you. I'm too old for love, James. Too old to live without it. Wise words. But art will see me through, James. Surely it shall. Oh, ah, here. I promised you I'd make something. I have your hat. <sighs> Pretend to like it. I couldn't have another rejection. Not now. It's wonderful. Take care of yourself, Algernon. Goodbye, James. Think of me fondly. No, I won't think of you fondly. Cause... Have we done it? Algernon's revolver. One of the laborers, okay, a rare double action revolver featuring a compact shortened barrel and gold inlay. All right, lovely job, lovely. So we finally finished that quest chain. Exotic list, okay, exotic hat. Oh, lovely little hat. <laughs> I have to wear the hat. Just thinking what to do next. I'm tempted actually to, while I'm here, actually, guys, I'm getting myself washed and I'm going to do, I'm going to do this bounty poster next. Okay, so, yes. Okay, we're here now at the police station. 
let's have a look at this. Yeah, we're after the poster. Right, let's have a look then. So we got this, we got one more as well. I forgot what the other one is, but. So I thought, because we're in sound in here anyway, we might as well do it. Uh, $85 reward for Anthony Foreman. Wanted. Anthony Foreman. Uh, capture alive, okay? Don't shoot him in the head. He is the former leader of the Foreman Brothers gang and is of a dark complexion. Foreman was under sentence for robbery, pandering, and blackmail and made his escape. He is known for violent behaviour and has been spotted in many of the establishments throughout St. Denis slums, including the tavern. The above reward is offered by the authority of blah, blah, blah. And be paid for the recapture of said party. Okay. Anthony Bowman, check that saloon in the slum. He might have a bounty on his head, but you'd hardly know it. Carries on about his business in the less salubrious part. The law won't dare to come looking. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, uh, excuse me. <laughs> sorry. Uh, let's have a look see where it, where it is. Oh, it's only there. Um, okay, we'll go there then. The thing is, I've got to be careful because when I was um, looking around the tailors, I accidentally barged into a cop by accident, knocked him over, suddenly the law after me. I had a five pound dollar, five dollar bounty on my head. Um, that all the police were trying to kill me. Okay, I'm here. This is a sort of a new way. I've never gone into a bar to get somebody before, so it's probably going to end up being a fight or something. Is this at the front door? Hey question you. the what you bartender. Um, I just want to question you. Hey, could you help me find an Anthony Foreman? Anthony Foreman? I, uh, goddamn I don't recollect that name. I'd try the other Hey! Right, where are you um, going? Uh, excuse me. Right, it's gonna get him then. Just tripped me, but I'm still coming. Look oh, God. Now. Where's my horse? Come on, horse. I don't want to go on that little one. Come on! Right. Oh, he's escaping. I know he is. I know he's escaping. Let's go. Oh my god, where's he gone? Where's he gone? So look at the map quickly. Right, it's just up there. Right, so we need to go on this bend and... <laughs> Come on! Hey, right, we, better get our, we better get our um, horse and gear. Right, let's get our lasso. Foreman! You're coming off that horse! Right, fantastic. That wasn't too bad. I thought it was going to be harder than that. Lucky, I want you alive. That went better than I thought because lucky, I thought we lost right? him then. Real lucky. Obviously, we might as well lose him. What it used to be. Is it okay if I rob you? <laughs> oh, very no polite. Way, Is it okay if I rob you? Alright, so take Anthony Foreman back to Saint Denis Jail. Nice one. Come on. The chief wants to see you. Right. All right. So I'm gonna do this, um, and then I can have another look around the tailors. I think you knew a friend of mine, Tilly Jackson. Tilly Jackson. I ain't heard that name in a time. Oh, hey. is this? You're not the. No. He was bigger. That's a little thing for her. But I ain't bringing you in for Tilly Jackson. Anthony Foreman. I'm bringing you in because they're paying me. I recognise that name. Was that was that one when we went there with, with Grimshaw? If my cousin was still here, you wouldn't have got me. I wouldn't have had to hide out in no slum, avoiding no bounty. When he got killed and we lost them other boys at Radley's house, that's when things went. Save me your terrible tale of woe. Yeah, I just trying to cast my mind back, actually. So we went to this house and it was something to do with Tilly Jackson's boyfriend or bloke or something or other. And we were there with Miss Grimshaw, Susan Grimshaw. And um, I'm sure this guy was mentioned. If I, I, I might be completely wrong. You bring that bastard back to Tilly so we can all have a nice little chat. Do you have the first idea what you're getting into? 
I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an E? <laughs> I want the Undertaker to spell it right. She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. So oh, he's still right alive the then? Ah. I guess. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You Foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. Here's the station. I'm guessing you ain't on this side of town much. I wouldn't piss on these people if they were burning. Nice. Right, Mr. Copper, I have you. I have got you an Anthony, Anthony Foreman. Foreman. He ain't society's problem no more. He's yours. Well, good to meet you finally, sir. I hope you find our accommodation suitable. Sales back there. All right, okay, so let's drop him here. Get I ain't going anywhere. Let's collect our money. Well, you gonna want a hot bath after taking that trip through the slums. Actually, I like the slums, but I'm gonna need a hot gracious of you. Well, Kay. the police department is being modernized. We're gonna try and arrest our own criminals, so don't expect any more bounties here for a while. Oh, you could do your own work. All right, okay. Rather than people doing the work for you. All right, so I'm gonna have another little wander around Saint Denis, around the tailors, for a little bit off camera, um, and see if I can find this person, this gang member. I'm assuming. Um, if I don't find them, then I oh, guess we'll do something else. I'm beginning to think that. Either I'm completely blind, or something's not quite right. Because... Hey there! I mean, for one thing, it's good for honour, because I'm literally going around everywhere and going, Hello there! So my honour now is, is getting up. Hey there! Okay, I have been round this tailor's in the park for another half an hour. And I don't recognise anybody. And I've been greeting them all, so I think I'm going to have to leave this for now. Maybe it is a bug or something. So how is everything? So let's have a look at the map, and uh, I will come back here, but I think for the time being, let's have a look at the map and do something else. We may as well go and see our old friend, Jeremy Gill. Yes, so I, I'll probably guess I'll see you guys there. Um, in fact, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, let's go to Rhodes first, because uh, we, we might as well ride there. Let's go to Rhodes first. Um, so we said about going, or a few of you said about going to the Rhodes General Store, so... Was it the general store? I'm sure it was. Um, so let's go to the general store first. And and then we'll go and see Jeremy Gill. Right, we are in Just what Rhodes. Is going on? Um, I didn't see any stranger missions on the way here. I lost my leg for this oh, oh, ah! I remember this dude. Hey, mister. Hey, how you no doing, buddy? No more. Okay. And you? Well, only got the one leg. <laughs> Been standing here since about 1870 and uh, slowly starving to death. Oh, sorry I asked. Ah, don't worry about it. Hey, say you a Yankee? I'm not sure. You know, there was a fella I used to see with you a few years back. He was, he was tall and a moody face. Yeah, Arthur. He died, I'm afraid. Well, I'm sorry to hear it. He... He saved my life. Is that so? He didn't always seem the type. No. No, he didn't. Hello, sir. Wow. 
I forgot about this dude here. This veteran. Right. Let's go into the store. Who are we going to be seeing in here? Hi there. Oh, Pearson! You were dead. Oh, Pearson! What are you doing here? Uh, <laughs> welcome to my store. How can I help you? <laughs> are you serious? Yeah, beats the old butcher's table, doesn't it? <laughs> so what can I get for you today, sir? How the hell are you? I'm Pretty good. good. Got some land in Great Plains. Trying to get a small ranch going. Really? Wow, good for you. Staying out of trouble then? I uh, wouldn't go that far, but I'm trying. Well, uh, I'm at a loss for words. Hey, wasn't a great, wasn't a load, wasn't a load of conversation. I was hoping for more of a catch up, and but yeah, Pearson is running the the store in Rhodes. Excellent stuff. All right, well, I don't need anything, Pearson, but it's good. No, it's good seeing you, and <laughs> I will come and visit you again. Take care now. Bye bye. 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 Bye bye. Excellent stuff. All right. So yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks guys for letting me know about all this. It's excellent. I love I love meeting them. So who else we got there? I just want to think we've got Pearson. We've got Mary Beth. We have Karen. There boy. Um we have the Reverend Swanson. I just try and think of my head. Who else have we got? We've got Tilly. They mentioned Tilly on that um fellow we, we arrested. So yeah, we'll have to find them all. Hopefully we, we can. So anyway. Oh, hello. There's a question mark here. I, I need to get a main question, a main thing done as well. Right, let's go Let's go here then. I'm, I'm intrigued what this stranger thing is. Just popped up. Um, yeah, let's have, a, let's have a look then. I don't want to go too crazy on the mains. I want to use these last sort of, I don't know how many episodes we're going to do to kind of clear up all the loose bits. And, and what I mean by the loose bits, I mean like... Um, Possibly the challenges, and um, obviously we've done that duchesses, the exotics quests. Um, I want to do the, the the writings at some point. What? Now this is weird. This is weird. What are you fools up to? It's Mr. Black's fault. His fault to Darky White. Although I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean off you. Uh, Come on. And I'll tell you, you lily living. Enough. Enough. Say, you two fools look like you've just run off from a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay. You and for a darkie. Shut up, you pasty face streak of piss. Yeah, I had up to here with you. Enough. I'll do your goddamn favor. What do you want? Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat. Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, right. you love so, nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just Four. shut up. You shut up. <laughs> so it's reason it's weird. For those of you who haven't watched an early episode, I bumped into these two with Arthur. Um, exactly the same scene here. It's replayed it for some reason. And it, get the bounty posters. I got the bounty posters down. And I went back to black and white. And they, you had the choice between killing them or arresting them or whatever or burning the posters. Now, I stupidly burnt the post. Uh, sorry, I stupidly uh, killed him. And apparently, there's like a big quest chain, uh, which I lost out on. Um, and I thought that was it until now. And it's replayed again. Now, how weird is that? It's a good, that's a good bug, I would say. So, let's get these bang to posters. As I've done it before, I won't go through the same thing again. Um, and let's go back and see and see him. Oh, this is good. So I bet not many people get a second chance to do this. So let's this this time do it right. Hey, friend. Hello. How was in town? Pretty hot. It got quite a price on you boys. It is so unfair. I, I didn't do nothing. Well, they said you was wanted for murder. It was a murder? It was self-defense. You killed a farmer? Oh, firstly, I would have, but he died before I could. And secondly, 
Well, he had it coming. He... I don't like to say. Well... Well... That's pretty net. <laughs> they ain't no business of mine. Here's the posters. Thanks, partner. That's that, then. That's that. Free at last. Free for you, at least. Well, not quite. Well, I mean, guys, that's wicked, isn't it? Imagine I shot him again. I can imagine the comments. You're right. Right, let's carry on to uh, Jeremy Gill. Hey, boy. Whoa, what's happening? Whoa. Calm down on this right quick now. Ah, to ditch y'all. Can't do shit right. You said there'd be 25 people here. Oh, Patience. huh? There's nobody here, dang it. This is oh, a lost oh, cause. Careful. Right, man, that's dangerous. Yeah, assholes. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> oh Jesus, <laughs> the, the rope's caught. Run for its friends. <laughs> Did we see this happen before as well? Oh, was the cross that burned? Wow. Um, <laughs> so this is the... I think it was the Ku Klux Klan. And it's quite nice to see them burn. <laughs> to be honest. So yeah, we had the, we had the situation again ages, actually ages ago with, um, the, I think, the cross burnt. Um... Anyway, let's carry on to Jeremy Gill. What's going on? Okay, guys, we're coming up to the little place. There's a little, little hut. And we first came here when we were way over there. Um, was it Overlook? I can't remember. Anyway, let's go see him. A fan. Good timing. Do you have a <laughs> camera? Sure. What are you talking about? Liars. Damn liars. Well, you know, they're the liars. Hey, are you the guy that took the photos? I don't think so. Oh, must have been that fella from Quebec. I... Did you say you had a camera? Yeah. Good. You'll do then. What do you need? I found a giant catfish up near Frontera Bridge over in Rio Bravo. Isn't that on the desert? Yes. And I'm going to catch it. And you are going to photograph me catching it. And then these bastards who call me a fake will discover who really catches these fish. You do, right? Well, you know, some of them. Uh, listen, I know how to catch fish. Uh, come on. I don't want to go out to Rio Bravo. Uh, it'll be an adventure. Come on. I've got quite enough adventures. Uh, I'll give you something you really love. <sighs> Okay then. What does what does John really love? Rio Bravo. Where the, where the, where is that actually on the map? It looks cold. Where we go in? Oh, it's a new area. The new area. The beautiful new area. This place blows my mind. How? Lush and vast it is. So, a catfish in the desert, is that normal? No, not at all. That's why it's so fascinating. It's adapted to a new environment, turned a horrible pallid yellow color, and weighs close to 200 pounds by all accounts. What? Oh, yes. I still need a good name for it. The fans love a name. Old Chalky, El Diablo Amarillo. Uh, I'll come up with something. I always do. I already have a draft of this written for my newspaper column. You haven't caught it yet? Yes, but never has a conclusion been more foregone. So, what exactly am I getting out of this again? What are you getting out of it? Only the best day of your mundane little existence. How often do you get to be a part of a legend? To experience a masterclass in extreme angling up close and personal. To watch an artiste paint his masterpiece. I was talking about money. Good God, the avarice. Do you think Hannibal was haggling as he went over the Alps? You'll be handsomely rewarded, don't you worry about that. 
A Japanese man once offered me $500 just for an hour of my company. Really? I told him add a zero, and then maybe we can talk, chum. A whole hour, huh? Okay. It'd be funny ah, if he gets eaten now, wouldn't this it? This is the place. <laughs> okay. What's the plan? Oh, no. Catfish are easy. Just a couple of rashers of bacon and that boy will be fine. Listen, I want you to get a picture of me actually landing the thing. I'll try. You no, know, you do your best. Okay, chum? Set up over there. Okay, chum. <laughs> yes, boss. <sighs> like hey. I said, fame hasn't changed me. But it has opened a lot of doors that were previously closed. I'm actually planning on turning fishing into a way of, well, uniting nations. <laughs> I'm gonna head to DC, discuss it with the president. Then I'm gonna head over to Europe. Oh, oh. bring the royal families together while I teach them how to fish. Hurry up. Let's catch this fish and go home. Oh, I'm ready. You're ready. Okay. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> and now we wait. That's the thing about fish. They can sense when you're desperate. Sure. Okay. Yeah. So we gotta stay calm. Just <sighs> relax. Hooray. <laughs> What's gonna happen? You know, I write poems. Would you like to hear? No, thank you. Okay. <sighs> I wanted to get pulled in the water or something. You're invited to China. I'm gonna fish with the emperor there. Really? Where's this goddamn catfish? Yeah, where is it? Oh. I think John's falling asleep here. <laughs> so then I said, listen, sister, I don't care if you're the Queen of Sheba, not just of England. Fishing is an art form. <laughs> yeah, well, she kept quiet after that. <laughs> Ah, oh, until dinner. <laughs> hey, chum. Uh, huh. Wake up. The fish can tell if you're sleeping. Can they? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Where is that damn fish? Yeah, come on. We've got we got I a main mission to do. For five days wrestling that monster. <laughs> but I've got him in the end. Ah, you know, the villagers were so grateful, the chief gave me his daughter. Hey, chum. <sighs> Sorry. Uh. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, oh, we got something. Oh, oh we got something. <laughs> Is it that catfish? <laughs> it's something big. Oh. Good. Hurry up. Oh, no, don't you rush me, chum. This is me and the gods wrestling for immortality. Oh, oh, oh my god! It's a monster! Oh, oh god, he's gone again. I'll be quick with a photo. Oh, oh, no, oh, I still got him on the line. You get ready! I'm getting ready, oh, I am. Oh, oh, oh. He's gonna come back again. I'm gonna pull him in just a little bit. I'm gonna tire him out. Get the camera ready! I'm ready. Oh, oh, oh come on, boy! Come on, boy! <laughs> Oh, come on, he's huge! Come on! Here, get this! Get this! Here he comes! Here he comes! Here comes him off! Oh, oh. Ah. Ah. <laughs> My God! Does that mean we can catch it? Pick up this the special spinner. What? Oh. Oh, we got a new lure. Special spinner. Um, let's grab his hat. Go. We got a fisherman's. You have found a special hat. This hat has been added to your wardrobe and can be stored in your on your horse. Special hats glow when lying on the ground. Oh, okay, fine. Um, that's it. He's gone. He's um, he's gone. Oh, well, I knew something like that would happen. All right, guys, we better um, we better do a main, we better do a main mission. Should we just search the saddlebag a sec?
Nothing. All right, guys, we can always go into his house, I suppose, and see what's in there, but oh, that's a long way away. I think we better do a main quest. Or a main mission. Um, Uncle, right, so as we are close anyway, I'm going to ride up to there because this place... Oh, actually, it's, it's gone... Oh, my goodness me. <laughs> I've gone right down there. I probably will ride back, although I have been recording for two... Nearly three hours. Um... But yeah, anyway, I'll see you guys. I will write back. I'll see you guys at Uncle. Man, do you know what? That is a hell, a hell of a ride. This area is bigger than you think. Or bigger than I think, anyway. Um, right, so we're, we're finally here. Oh, and I saw some massive... Con I saw some... The birds the birds of prey or whatever. The birds in this area. In this area I saw some condors. And I shot one down, naturally. And the wingspan. Oh, my God. Anyway, guys, we are we are here. Yeah, this area, it's, it's a shame they but I haven't done more with it, like, missions. Uh, knuckle hard. friendships. It's the lumbago. I have an hour to do it. I, I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up or get out. Oh, you can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? Guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age... No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> Get up! Ow! I, I, I'm getting up. Oh, no, wait, what did I have to tell you? I, I went into town. And, oh, I got, I got a little drunk. Oh, shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to Saint Denis. Really? Charles. Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. Unless I dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing too good neither. Really? Are we going on the train as well? That's one thing I haven't actually done properly. Go around. I wanted to go around the whole of the map on the train. So I'll probably do that off camera again. There's so much. It feels like there's so much to do. Yet I'm coming to the end of the game. I expect this game. I'll end up playing way beyond. Ah, here we are. When I finish the, Come when on, I finish let's this. Get off. Ah. <sighs> Back in Saint Denis. I never liked this place. Oh, yeah. Well, me neither. <sighs> All yeah, right. I don't like that. I don't like the hat either. Let's go find that big sour bastard. Sure. <sighs> Let's split up. Good idea. I'll take the saloons. You take the slum. Now, how about I take the saloons and you take the slums? Okay, ask about Charles at the saloon or the fence. So, uh, let's go, well, let's go anywhere really. Let's go to the saloon, I guess. Right, here we are. Hello. Hey, partner. You seen a big Indian guy? Indian? <laughs> sure. I've seen hundreds. A big guy. Boxer, maybe? Likes fighting? Yeah, yeah. Bare knuckle guy. Think he's he's fighting tonight over at St. Saturnine's. Thank you. Thanks a lot. No problem, bud. Okay, fight find Charles at St. Saturnine's. Look at these two guys. They're basically both pissed. Having a little snooze. Jesus, guys. You need to go home. Right, so let's get to this other place then. And uh watch him bare knuckle Ready, this fight. Boy? Bare knuckle fight. Oh, it's literally <laughs> just around the corner here. Right, there's a little dude at the, at the front of the door. Oh, it's Uncle. Oh, good Lord. I was just beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet. <laughs> Ask that first barman I met. He told me Charles was here. <laughs> Not one of life's great it's mysteries, surprise, turns out. <laughs> but they hate a massacre. And you are a killer. Oh, do we have to fight? I bet we have to fight. You both know what you gotta do. Oh, this is in here. I never noticed how big he actually is. He was. John? You're... You're... I'm alive. <laughs> so are you. <sighs> So's he. He That's is really Uncle? beefed up, What are you he? doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of. Just... I don't know. I, I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. Dangerous game, that is. You like that? Of course not. So, so, 
Let me go place a bet. Come on. Man, I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive, too, only she left me. Uh, excuse me. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself, to win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Real redskin brave. Well, I bet on Charles, surely. Ladies sure, I'm a fan of the wolf. Give me a bet on him. Have I got a treat for you? A big, I'm actually giving wager on that. Between the descendant of ancient warriors and a not so noble savage. On my left. A ferocious battler from the valleys, Simon of Wales! And on my right, an Injun Hercules. The savage, the Come on, Wolf. Come on, Charles. The unbeaten, and dare I say unbeatable, Lone Wolf! You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. You win by knockout, you win by retirement, or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. Well, focus on Charles. Cheer. Don't black out just yet. Come on, Charles. Try and stay on your feet, you hear? What is this? Knock him out! Bastard. Hit him, Lone Wolf! <laughs> nice! No! Look at him! Hit him, Charles! Oh! Oh! Pretend he's Micah! Try and stay on. <laughs> Dice one, that was quite easy. He's massive, isn't he? I didn't realize he was so big. Come on, Lone Wolf! Gotta get you the hell out of here! Hey! Lone Wolf! Whoa! Made my month, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. <laughs> so it goes. Here's your share, partner. If we just made the bed, I said we So you keen on staying around here or heading off with me and Uncle? But, John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now, my sense is you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater, in the high country. Okay. I gotta grab my baggage. I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside San Denis. What are you doing? Oh, just have a few urns to run. <laughs> You're Thanks useless. A saloon, I, basically. I'm a deep thinker. Be quick. A deep well, drinker. Okay, $40. This way. Uh, my bag's on the dock side. So, what happened? You mean back then? Arthur helped me get out. Gave me a chance to live, I guess. You you know that Arthur... Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have... Oh, of course. I understand. He's where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. He gave me his satchel with some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got it. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. He was a good man. As much as any of us could be. Getting sick like that has to rattle a fella. Rattle him or give him some kind of understanding. What is Redemption. really all about? Yeah. That makes sense. Anyway. I heard all of you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. I heard all kind of things, but... One thing I know, he ain't around here. I ain't heard nothing real in years since... Well... That time. Nor me. Micah. I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Or since before I got off Sisica. They picked up Strauss. The agents. Made a real mess of them. 
I heard he died in custody. Really? He never said a word. Huh. Guess some folk is strong in ways you can't see. Everything that happened, all those deaths. Micah? None of us is innocent in that. The Dutch, Reverend. Least of all. But I don't think we would have had to make those calls. All that mayhem. If it wasn't for. We were on a very bad path. And Micah Bell dragged us into the abyss. Hmm. It never ends well. Gangs like ours don't run. Okay. Ah, uh, uh, missed the conversation again. Hold on. What? Careful. Why? Those are Guido Martelli's men. Who? He. Uh. He used to work for Angelo Bronte. I've only been here an hour. Hey. Uh, Come over here. What now? Well, you go left, I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three. <laughs> Have thrown that Let's go. Okay, come on. I'll get my bag. Okay. Oh boy. I didn't think this was gonna end up in a come fight. Hey yeah! Okay. Please drive in. Where was Uncle gonna meet us? Over the bridge going out of town. West. Hold on. Oh, we might have to get our guns out. I need help! You see any law? Not yet. Keep your eye out. Send Hang on. That's the last thing you can go. Short on police. I remember that. Only too well. Anyone? Good so far. The further we get from those gunshots, the better chance we have. Of denying it at least. No, we can't get caught. Martelli has the police chief in his pocket. They take us in. We won't get out of the interview room. I don't want to get in a shootout over this. That's not the man I try to be anymore. No, I don't want that either. You see anything? Yeah. No. Nope. I think we're clear. If I ever want to go back, remind me that I hate Saint Denis. <laughs> Guido Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk and wide open spaces. Speaking of simple... John! Charles! <laughs> Come on, simple you uncle. You've been all getting up to no good? Kind of. Been getting shot at. Well, they weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home. <laughs> so I'm hoping we'll get all the gang, well, the remainder of the gang, like back at our camp and kind of go on from there. That'd be cool. Get Tilly, Karen, Mary Beth. The Reverend Pearson, but he's in road, so he. All right. Oh, we got silver. Okay. Uncle tells John that he has heard that Charles Smith is alive and in Saint Denis. John and Uncle go to Saint Denis to track him down. Arrive after arriving in Saint Denis. Find Charles within one minute f uh, fifty seconds. Kill all of Guido's marks from the men within ten seconds. All right. And, um, God, this is a long video, guys, because I did a lot of stuff off camera. That, well, not off, but I did all the orchid, orchids and stuff. So it's just well over three and a half hours. Oh my God. Okay, then, guys, I am gonna leave that video there. Hope you've enjoyed it, and hopefully, I will see you guys on the next episode. Until then, take care.